Hey, it's Rafael Centron here in this live session with you here on YouTube. Really happy to have you here. If you're watching live, comment down below where you're watching me from. And if you're excited to learn how to make a 100K per month store live here with me, we're actually going to show you a new strategy that we've developed in order to find any store that is doing extremely well in your niche or that you want to model, how to take that store, create a page that follows the exact same structure and the exact same layout as that other particular store and recreate that success for yourself and then be able to take that recreation and do it again and again and again for any product and any store that you wanna test. So I'm super excited and I'm also going to bring in Tony Tovar, a seven-figure entrepreneur who also went through my mentorship program and he's actually built many businesses throughout the years. He's very successful and knows how to teach this as well, knows a lot about marketing. So he's going to be very valuable. I'm really excited to show everybody all the strategies. I've been polishing this for a few weeks and months now and we've actually tested it with a couple of students. It worked really well and now I want to show it here on YouTube. Welcome, Tony. What's up? Yo, what's up? Good morning, everybody. Ah, oh, super excited, man. I can't wait. I, I'm so glad we're doing these again. And then we're going to be talking about some amazing stuff that you guys are going to get extreme value out of this. So thanks for having me, dude. I'm so excited to be here. Woo, let's get going. Let's do it. We don't do that many YouTube lives, but this one is going to be important. This one, I'm actually going to show you a lot. It's no fluff. Step by step, we're going to cut through everything. We'll try to finish in about an hour so that you can get all that knowledge in an hour. Really excited. So what I'm going to do right now is first off, we're going to start with the first thing. There's about 11 people here and there's a few people liking already. So hit that like button. Probably a lot more people are going to join over the next couple of minutes. So just let us know, hey, or let us know where you're watching us from. And the first part of this training, I'm going to talk about how to determine for somebody that doesn't know what to sell, or you're maybe having problems selling online, how to determine what to sell. The first thing that I really learned from one other e-commerce entrepreneur who is doing extremely well, and then I started applying it to my stores, was you wanna look at two different things. One is your bank statements. What are you actually spending money on? Not just what you like, what are you interested in, what you're passionate about, what are you actually spending money on? Look at your band statements. Look at what do you actually spend money on? What products? What services? What kind of, let's say you bought a swimsuit last week or you bought a, a computer cover, whatever it is. Things that, that you actually spend money on. Money is more important than, than just being passionate about it. Then you also want to look at what do you spend time on? Time and money are two valuable resources. And you want to look at something that I personally like to look at is my YouTube search history. So if you look at my YouTube search history, it obviously tells you a lot about who I am what I'm passionate about, what I love, but also what I like to put attention in. And that's something that people really ignore. They think, oh, I'm passionate about dogs. My friends have dogs. I'm going to start selling dog products. And that's something that usually leads you down a path that you're not really passionate about the dog product. You don't really put that much effort into dog products. And you end up just quitting on the store because you don't care about pets. So two things, bank statements. And then you want to look at your YouTube search history. What do you spend time energy and money on and then you want to actually find out if those interests that you have other people have those interests because you're not just wondering okay what do i like but maybe nobody else cares about all this stuff so then you're going to go into google and i'm going to show you exactly all this process that i'm going to go through right now i like i like to think of it as like you run into things that are like you show evidence in your life that you care about and it's the things you have close to you. It's the things you spend money on. It's the things that you spend a lot of time on. Those things you're showing evidential truth that you actually care about those things. So I, I agree with you there. You can always start with what you have shown in your life as evidence, as showing up as evidence that you actually care about something. You can start there. Exactly. So what I was wondering before, I was actually talking to one of my clients. She wanted to sell unicorn products or unicorn theme products. And we had to go through an exercise of, okay, you might be interested in unicorns. Your daughter might be interested in unicorns, but are people actually buying unicorn products? Are they interested in buying uni unicorn products? So we can actually do that. Unicorn products. 
for sale. And we could try to find, obviously this is, I'm in Dubai right now, that's why you're seeing all these uh, searches, but you wanna try to find unicorn products and seeing if those products actually fit in and other people actually buy them. So you wanna find them on eBay, on Amazon. You wanna find different blog posts about it. You wanna find different resources online about that particular product. So if we go to Amazon, for example, it's a great place that I like to look. It's the biggest e-commerce website out there. And there are actual products about unicorns that are selling. So you got this stuffed animal here. They are running ads for them. There's this particular unicorn little fidget toy here. So even though it's a niche that you would think, ah, nobody's buying things in this niche. Well, actually a lot of people are interested and thousands of people are living reviews for this particular niche. The same applies to any other niche that you want to sell. Let's say you're very interested in ice fishing and you might think, well, nobody's really interested in ice fishing. Well, let's do an exercise here. So ice fishing products. And then we'll look at, let's see if people are actually interested in ice fishing. So 10 best ice fishing tackling gear essentials. We got ice fishing on Amazon as well. Let's look at how many reviews they have on Amazon. So like I said before, you look at your bank statements, you look at your YouTube search history, Am I interested in these products? Am I putting actual time and money into these products? And then are other people interested in these products? So ice fishing sled, very interesting. Ice fishing spinning reel, ice picks, tackle for ice fishing, ice fishing tent. So even though your niche might not be, you might think that, oh, what I'm interested in, what I spend money on, it's not really that popular or it's not really profitable. Well, you can find really profitable niches that are not super saturated, are not or saturated, I should say, that you're not selling, I'm gonna sell a dog bed, or I'm going to sell a kid's toy, or I'm going to sell a phone cover because other people have been successful with phone covers. I wanna get you out of that plane of thinking what everybody else is thinking. And this is how really my, my best students have been able to get to six figures or seven figures is by finding niches of their own that not only they're passionate about, it's not, it's not about passion, it's about what you actually spend money and time on and then finding if that is an actual profitable niche out there. Then once we do this, we want to find successful stores and brands using these niches to actually make money on Shopify. How we can do that? We can use a tool like Minia. It is a paid tool. You don't need to use it. I just really like it. There are other tools like DropPoint. This one is $5 a month. So you should be able to invest $5 a month to just do some research into Facebook ads for the products that you're selling. So what I like to do is I like to go to Minia here and then I put country, I put the United States, language I put, oh, let's go back, ads, what's happening here? Oh, it logged me out, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, let's go to countries, United States, language, English, then I wanna do econ platform Shopify, and then the likes, I wanna put the likes to about 250, so it's a good amount of likes. And then I want to look at the keywords. Now with the keyword search, whenever you're using one of these Facebook ad tools, make sure that you use different styles of keywords because different products are named in different ways. Different people think of the same product in different specifications or in different names of that particular product. So let's say in this case, we are selling an ice fishing or a fishing product. What you want to do is you want to put fishing here and then try to find a fishing product Okay, so we got some fishing products here running for 352 days. I like this tool because it tells you how many days it has been running, how many shares, likes, comments it has, and then you can click on the actual ad to check it out. And one of the reasons so, I think here, it's important to understand guys that the, the way that a person, when they're looking at an ad, the what happens in their mind, let me tell you right quick. First, you have to engage them. You have to grab their attention, right? So that tells you that all the likes, the more likes they have, or the more comments they have, the more attention they're grabbing, right? Then when you have enough engagement, you can then move towards, are they getting enough clicks? So we we can't see the click information here because they're running their ads, it's their thing, but we can assume that because it has high engagement, it also has high clicks. And from clicks, they go to your website. And if your website is set up in a way to convert, then you know you're getting people and customers through the door. And we'll talk a bit more about how you can also spy on those specific stores in a moment. Definitely. And you definitely want to look at tools like this to find ads like this one, for example. You got this product that is in the fishing niche, and I haven't really seen this product before. It's I'm not even really sure how it's called, but it's been running for 235 days, has 
a nice amount of likes, almost a thousand likes. And in a niche like this, that is a very comfortable amount of likes to be looking at. It's not a huge niche, super hugely popular niche, but we want to look at ads like this that are doing pretty well. And then what we also want to look at is ads that have, let's say, I'm going to check here. So it just has 27 comments. The more comments an ad has, the better. Because if an ad has 10,000 likes, but it has just five comments, or when we actually look at the comments, it's just comments from like Indonesia or India, then probably they're just running ads to those countries to get some likes. But with ads that have a lot of comments, a lot of shares, a lot of English comments, that's a really good sign that that product is going to work. You can also click the see post here to actually check the post on Facebook. In this case, let's go to the actual store, Jackson Whole Fly Company. Dot com and they're an actual fishing gear company and let's try to find out how much money this particular brand is making so we're not going to go through it and check every single product i don't want to waste your time but i do want to check how much money they're making so i'm going to go to niche scraper you can use many different tools i just like niche scraper to store analyze and i want to take this particular brand jackson whole fly and i want to put it here enter the url And they're making 35000 to 42000 a month. So that's a pretty solid amount of revenue for a fishing company. Their average product price is also really solid at $72. And they're getting about 45,000 people per month on their store. So if you're in the fishing niche and you're at 1K per month or zero per month, and you want to get to that point of 40K per month, looking at a brand like this, great starting point for you to actually start getting sales. Let's look at the other brand that we checked out here. Let's check that it's called fishing gear store yeah fish very original name let's check it out on niche scraper that's not too bad man it's like exactly if you're a fisher a fisherman then like fishing gear store <laughs> ah this website is either down or does not receive enough traffic so i don't have enough traffic for us to analyze it unfortunately let's try to find one more and see if we can model it we got north pro fishing let's look at that it catches too many fish that's a really good headline too it catches too many fish so going over the top of this is too good you might want to check it out so let's let's check on that 351 comments that's pretty solid let's, let's look at that shot now i like that kind of bait North Pro Fishing, nice name. Let's look at Niche Scraper, how much money they're making. And if you have any questions, anything, leave it until the end. We're going to do a full Q&A here on YouTube. So you can ask absolutely any questions you want. Ah, oh, it does not receive enough traffic again. Well, that sucks. Okay, so it doesn't receive enough traffic, unfortunately. So let's go with the store that we were checking before, which I think it is uh, this one, which is the Jackson. Yeah, Jackson whole fly company and this one is making about 40 grand a month so let's analyze that one now what we're going to do is look at let's say the product that is selling the most for them so for example let's try to find out i'm going to close these tabs here which product is selling the most i assume it could be let's think about this entry level cluster creek i'm going to try to find out the product that is selling the most for them and I'm going to actually go back to Niche Scraper, see if I can find the best seller from Niche Scraper again. And this is literally the process that I go through when I'm launching a new product. Recently added, best seller. Okay. Gift card, package protection, river fly. Extra small fly box. A lot of very weird products here. You know, it's. A, I think he, what's it's showing is that there's a lot of accessories you can buy, and they may they may yeah. sell a lot of accessories. Um, a lot of people might come here to get little flies or fly box because that's in in this particular niche. What's really important to these people <clears throat> is lures. So, like True. lures, re reels, they probably already have, but if they needed a rod and a reel, they could, they could totally get it. But what's important to them, and they're constantly trying, like the ones that are pros. They're constantly making um, uh, flat, like they're making flies, they're making baits, they're making lures, and they're constantly trying new ways of doing it, and they're storing them in like these pouches. So I assume that a lot of the a lot of the fly, pro fly bait uh, fishermen come here, and they're probably fishing. I'm not fishing, but buying these um, these accessories to help them sort of organize their fly fishing gear. 
True. That's probably what's happening. So to not lose too much time, I'm actually going to show you a particular store and product page that we found through our research. And then we actually created the same structure and the same layout in order to achieve the results that that brand is achieving. So the brand that I'm talking about is called Sleep Band. I talked about them in one of my YouTube videos. And this particular brand is selling these sleep mask headphones right here for about $49.99. They're making over a hundred grand a month selling this particular product. And you can see that the page is very clean. It has a bonus of a free ebook, get enough sleep last night, has a nice testimonial going on here, which I'll play. And it's just this woman talking about how great the product is, why you need the sleep band, protect your ears, you only get two, and the reviews. I loved this particular layout. I really loved how this brand was actually presenting their product and just the structure of their brand. So what I did is I checked them up on Niche Scraper and then I did store analysis here and I looked at how much money this particular store is making. Let's I see. Actually, I, actually, I was going to say, yeah, I, I actually bought this product, dude, because I wanted to use something called brain.fm, brain.fm in order to, okay. uh, to hear like very specific re frequency music when I, when I'm asleep, that really works. I love these things. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a product that has good demand, is making over 100 grand a month, 200,000 monthly traffic. So they're probably over the 200 grand, 200 grand a month mark, $66 per sale. So what we're going to see is how can we replicate a store that looks like this? When you find a store that is doing extremely well, how can you replicate, not copy, I'm not saying you're going to copy them in the product and you're going to copy exactly what they're doing. You're going to copy their ass as a strategy to fail. What we're going to do is we're going to look at what structure do they have. I love how clean it is, how the add to cart is over the fold of the page, meaning the place where you need to actually scroll down to see it. I like these logos here. I like the use of videos and images. I just love the overall page. I like that they're making more than 100 grand a month. So I, I want I, to look at. I was going to just mention real quick that I love like one of the things you can tell is there's an immediate uh, end result image, right? Like whatever it is that you're trying to solve. The end result is an image right there. Exactly what it is that you get. You get the sleep that looks comfortable, nice, whatever. And then you have an immediate immediate take action because a lot of people may not scroll. A lot of people, you're either wanting this or you don't. And if you kind of don't know if you want it or not, right? There's. I was telling someone not too long ago that you have people that will say yes. There's people who will say yes, maybe. There are people who are going to say no and they're going to say no, maybe. And for those who say yes, maybe, and no, maybe, that's where the majority of people are going to be. They're going to want to scroll down and see what's going on. And I think the layout of this thing is amazing because it immediately talks about the credibility when you scroll down. Like you have as seen on these different websites, et cetera. Um, it's a pretty good layout. Definitely. What I wanted to do was, can we make a layout just like this one for our store, for our brand, for any brand out there? So I asked my landing page designer, we have a landing page designer in our team. I actually asked them, can you make a page that looks like this, not for the same product, but quite similar to it? And he said, okay, I'm going to try to do it. So what we did is going to surprise you. Check out this page, how it looks like. It's awesome. Now, check out this page. We used a different product, Lifesaver Car Jump Starter. So we're going to sell this particular product, which is a car jump starter basically if your car runs out of energy you can jump start it with this particular jump starter and it's also a phone charger so it's an emergency kit basically we sell it for about 128 dollars here shipping from the united states and you can see that the structure of it oh i showed that so the structure of it you can check out this structure here it's doing extremely well 100 grand a month this structure is pretty much the same structure now we're not copying them, we're not selling the exact same product, but we're taking the layout, what's working for them, and we're using it for our product. We've got the reviews here in the bottom and everything that they are doing for their store. We don't have those logos because we're not actually featured in any of those big companies, but we actually, my landing page designer was able to take that particular page that is doing extremely well, replicate it and create a page that looks like, just like that. So what I've done for this particular training, it took me a while to actually put this together. And Tony was the one, uh, Tony here is a seven figure entrepreneur, very successful. He also loves to teach people. And he actually told me, dude, you need to put this in a clear, concise document that people will understand it. 
and they can go and do it for themselves, regardless of if they have a full-time landing page designer like me, you can get any designer in the world to make a page like this one that can also do extremely well, even in a test store, whatever store that you want, you can make a page that looks exactly like the page that is doing extremely well by using this wireframe. Now, a wireframe is what usual websites or apps or if you're gonna launch a company, maybe you get a wireframe, which basically is a designer creates what the website will look like or what the website should look like. And then you can go to website designer, website builder, and then he can do the page just like that. So I broke down the page. So we have realistic image. We got the logo here at the top. We got a clear button to actually buy. So it's green and clear. We got the benefits here and we got the first part of the page. This is over the fold of the page. And you can send this particular wireframe to any landing page designer, any store builder and create a page just like the 100 grand a month particular store that I showed you. You have the special bonus here, which goes under the benefits. You also have the social proof slash a video in the example of our page. It is just a video here, no social proof because we didn't really have time to get a, a video like that. Then you got the more benefits here, get enough sleep last night. Sleep band is designed to provide the deepest sleep possible. So you got more benefits. You have don't sell, educate, and you wanna be really careful with when you're being very salesy in your page, when you're just trying to say, oh, my product is the best, go buy it. That usually turns away a lot of customers. What you want to do is you want to educate them and teach them how they can benefit from your product and why they should even bother. So you want to fall asleep faster with music, regain your peace and quiet, sleep deeper, feel refreshed. It's not just about, oh, buy this product, cover your eyes when you sleep. It's about sleeping deeper, feeling refreshed, enjoying your marriage more, not being bothered by like your boyfriend or your husband there is, is on his phone or reading a book, but you're not bothered by that. And then you have a compare to alternative. So you have protect your ears, you only get two. Traditional earbuds and pods are proven to damage your ears after repeated use. So we got a comparison to the alternative that you already have available. You can just buy some AirPods. And, and it's funny because they call them pods, right? Because of AirPods, the Apple AirPods. And they didn't say AirPods, but they say pods because you can go buy some AirPods, put them on your ears and then sleep. But you only get two ears and you need to protect them. There's also a CTA button, a call to action button, meaning an add to cart button. And we got reviews, reviews, reviews. And what you'll notice with these reviews is that they're clearly written in English. They all have great pictures. They all seem like real people. And that's especially important if you're selling a product to an audience that doesn't know anything about you or an audience that is heavily advertised. So you can use this wireframe, this document. I'm actually gonna post this in the chat after. I'll find a way to post it in the chat on YouTube. I'll, I'll send it to all of you on YouTube. And you can actually send it to a landing page designer or a product page builder or a store builder and tell them, follow this guy, create a page just like this, and that page could potentially make 100,000 a month or more. And we also had another page that we found. This one in particular, we actually modeled it after the product for this one. That's why I showed it second because this was actually one of my assistants uh, had the idea of, hey, let's make a page just like this one that is doing very well for another store and another product selling a different product. They're also doing 100K a month. And we built also this particular page, get enough sleep last night. So we, we kind of copied a lot of things that they do. So this page, I didn't really want to show it that much. The main page that I wanted to show you was this one because it's the same layout, it's the same structure as that page that is doing 100K a month and you can create it for yourself. So what I also have for you, which I'm thinking of offering in this live, if there's enough, and if you drop me a yes, down below, just drop me a yes down below. If you want a template, we'll actually give you the template to make this page for you. So all you have to do is plug and play it into your store using an app called PageFly. Now here I am in the PageFly app and what you can do if you go here to the product pages section, you create a product page. There are zero product pages left. Let me maybe remove one of these. Can remove this product page maybe Mark, delete it i also somehow. wanted to mention while we while we're here is that if you notice that regularly a shopify store page like a product page looks very there's i always wondered this too rafia like i always thought to myself well why do they have it so that you're very limited in putting like 
putting stuff that that I think would sell a product underneath the initial feature images because there's a lot of white space. Like if you go to a regular Shopify product store, there's a lot of white space on the left side of the um, of the screen. And I've always been like, why? Why is that the case? Because it's it's such a misuse of of um, of space. Like you literally don't have a space and people aren't accustomed to having to hone in on the right side of the screen and squint their eyes to look at what's going on. And and with these, with this particular layout, as you scroll down, you're you're making use of a bigger central part of the entire screen where, where most people wouldn't have to be, they, they don't have to strain their eye. They can literally scroll through this and just see the benefits, see what it is they get. What are the results look like? Well, how does it work? Who, where has it been featured? How credible is this? Okay, great, I can buy it. And it, it always dumbfounded me that Shopify didn't let you use the entire page um, yeah. to do your design. So what I'm going to give you right now, I'm still thinking about it. There's only three people that commented yes, and there's 40 people watching. So if we get all the comments here saying yes, I'm actually going to give you the exact template. And with that template, you can go to PageFly. You have one page for free, so the app, you don't even need to pay for it. And you can import a template and what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to import a template i'm going to look for it really quick here without showing you too much of the stuff i have here and okay so i have this json file and this basically this json file is essentially a template that i gave to my mentorship students a couple of weeks ago and what they can do with that json file is check this out i can upload it or actually i need to select the file to upload it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click starter here because that's the name of it Okay, so I uploaded JSON. I understand that images will not be imported. Import. And let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the imported page. Let's check it out. Okay, and now I'm going to pick a product for this page because we need to pick a product first. So what I can do is I can click product here. And this all happens in the PageFly app. I'm using Marco. Marco is my support specialist, the guy in my team that works for our company. And I'm just using his account for a demo. Just I want to show you exactly how to go through this process. You can assign a product to this, and we can take any other products that are available here. For example, the sleep headband. And we can take that product, save it. And now the page has been assigned to a product. And all we need to do is change the name of this product page. So for example, you do sleep headband or sleep master headband and then the best sleep headband in the world. And then here, obviously you wanna change the benefits. I don't wanna bore you through this training, so I'm, I'm gonna change the benefits later. Here you wanna change the video, you wanna change the actual description here, you wanna change this particular part. I'm not gonna do all this for you. I'm gonna give you the actual template and the structure. A jumpstart in a power banking one, you wanna change it for the main headline. And in the bottom, you wanna add some reviews with an app called judge.me. Great app, we use it a lot, we recommend it to our students, really good app. And also change the frequently asked questions. Now, once you do all that, you assign a product, you change the main headlines, you change the main topics, you save it, and then you publish it. Gonna publish this. And now let's check it out. Oh. You can preview it. Yeah, but if I preview it, it's not gonna let me first. I'm gonna just put this back and then put it again. This was happening before. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I, I had I had this issue before. Okay, pay successfully public. There we go. Now, what I did. Oh, ah, oh, why did it not work? Sorry, sorry, people. I'm gonna get this done for you. And I like, I like how simple it is, man. Once you put that JSON code in, the template that you're looking to, it looks like we got a bunch of yeses too, by the way. So that's pretty dope. <laughs> awesome. Um, so so guys, when we share this, when you put that JSON uh, information uh -huh, in there, there we go. all of a sudden it pre-fills everything. I think that's super fast. Like this is what, without the problems, I think it could take less than like one or two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes if it wasn't for a technical problem that I didn't expect. So obviously you need to change the main image, that particular product that I chose. 
doesn't have any images, but here we change Sleep Master Headband, the best sleep band in the world. And it actually, just with a JSON file, just with that template, and this template is not like, I made it in two minutes. My landing page designer built this over the course of a whole day. Obviously, he's a professional in this, but look at the structure of it. It's, it's so the same structure. Better. It's so much better than just what comes out of the box with Shopify. I yeah, true. Uh, and it's literally the same structure as the store that is making 100 grand a month. And we did it in two to three minutes. And now, obviously, what you're going to do is you're going to change this description. You're going to change these headlines. You're going to change this video because obviously you want to make it custom page. You don't just want to copy paste other people. Don't copy paste their uh, actual store or product. But you have a structure that is not that traditional, you know, the beautify or the same structure that everybody else is using. You 50 people that are watching this training, you can be different than everybody else out there that is teaching, oh, take this Debutify page and do it like this, or take this theme and do it like that. You should learn, or you should at least start to learn how to make custom landing pages. And this is a great landing page. And I'm gonna give you this template in a little bit. I'm gonna talk about how to do that because we've got a lot of yeses. So I'm actually gonna give it to you. Take this template, create it on PageFly, upload it to PageFly like I did, create the live page, and actually get a page that looks exactly like this. And you also have the wireframe that I talked about. If you want to ever get another landing page designer to do all of this for you. So let's get into, okay. So that was awesome. Let me know if you got value from that. How to create a page in two minutes by using that particular template. It's awesome. I was gonna, I was gonna say that like, that's literally the secret to all online advertising and marketing guys. Like you didn't know, you may not have noticed or caught this, but Raphael is basically teaching you the secret to anything advertising and marketing, you just model what works. And so when you start- but don't making, copy it. No, not copy. You don't copy, copy your model. model. Yeah. You model. Um, and then what you're doing, it, so essentially what you're stealing is the layout, the wireframe. What is it that, and that's why you extracted those things into the wireframe document. And I love that. If you guys didn't understand that or didn't catch that, you're literally getting the secret to marketing and selling anything you want online is by modeling things that already work and that you can uh, you can literally go out there and do the research like we did today to see what how much these stores are making or how much these products are actually bringing in in revenue. So. And then what I'm going to do, since a lot of people commented yes, a lot of people got value from this. All I need you to do to get that template is I want to introduce you to how you can get a landing page designer full time to help you, a product researcher full time to help you, a store builder full time to help you. And we're not going to sell you anything on this training. We're not going to sell you anything on this. Don't worry. All I want you to do. Go to that link in the description. I'm actually going to post it in the chat here in just a second and book a free one-on-one -on -one call. All you got to do, just book a free call with my team. And we're going to introduce you how you can set up the system for yourself, where you can have a particular landing page designer full-time work with you, a product researcher full-time work with you. My system that I've developed to hire the best people in the world at an affordable rate, not a super expensive rate. And if you book a call, everybody that books a call, I'm gonna look at all the emails and I'm gonna personally email you the template. And this is a promise. Within the next two to three days, I'm gonna look at all the emails of all the people that booked a call. Very simple, just go there, book a call and get that call. And I'm gonna look at all the emails of people that go on the call and I'm gonna actually send you an email with the template. So I'm gonna actually give you that template that you can upload to PageLine. And once you upload it to PageFly, you can have the exact same structure that we were just talking about here. And I want to show you how to have really just a system that works with you all the time that we built and that we give to our students. And this is key. You can use that wireframe. And I'm actually, I'm going to try to see how I can post that wireframe. I don't even wireframe. know how to post. Actually, I know how to post a wireframe. Yeah. I'm going to send everybody a Google document right now of the wireframe. So yep. if you're live with us right now, you're lucky because you're seeing that in the comments right now. People who, sure. have, they'd have to scroll later to get access to it, but you got access to that document now. Okay, so if you click that Google Doc, it'll send you to the wireframe. If you wanna send it to any designer, if you wanna remember, oh, what did he say? I needed to put the what in the where? Oh, the wireframe is here, ah, I can do this. Yeah. And that was like, I, I made it about 9 p.m. at night for like two hours. I was thinking, how do I make this better? How do I make this clear? How do I make this simple? 
And that's what I came up with. So you can use that wireframe for anything. And if you want the actual template, go ahead and book a call. I'm going to send a template or I'm going to send the actual template to everybody that books a call and I'm going to send it to you by email. So just book a call. It's completely for free. You'll talk to my team, specifically my six figure student, Ryan. He can definitely help you. So that's essentially what I wanted to show you today. Now we're going to take questions on anything that you have questions about. Again, if you want that template, book a call. If you want the wireframe, it's in the chat there. And let's get into Q&A, questions and answers. So who has questions? What questions do you have? And how can we help you? Also, just a shout out to Omar Jesus, man. Nice to see you, brother. Glad to have you here. Any Glad questions? to have everybody here. I, you know, it's one of the things that, um, um, did you want to let them know about what we're doing towards the end of the month by any chance so they can show up? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, oh, and Fe Felix said, Rafael is mentoring me since February 2021 and my store already passed 9,000 per month. Nice. Man, nice. man, congrats. I know you, you've been on the calls, you post a lot on the group, you watch the trainings, you work in the mentorship, you're awesome, keep growing. That's awesome. I want to see 10K this month. Can you hit that six figure per month level or six figure on track per year level? Let's do it. So as you can see, you can also get great results. If you work with us in the mentorship, you can find out more about it by booking a call. And you get, and also, you get the wireframe no matter what, guys. You got the wireframe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also the JSON file just by booking a call. That's all you got to do. Exactly. I think so. Work, what you said. Really too. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. If, if we don't work together or mentor together, that's completely yeah, fine too. Not a problem. Um, yeah. So what you mentioned at the end of this month, we're actually doing, I think a lot of people know here about it, but the five day life training that we did in 2020 so many times and people love that training. They said, when are you going to bring it back? When are you going to do the five day training again? The five day training was awesome. We're going to do it starting August 30. August 30, we're going to do a full five-day training again. It's going to be epic, awesome, with new strategies, with new case studies, new absolutely everything for you to learn in a private Facebook group. And all you have to do, I don't want to put too many links so people don't get confused, yeah, yeah. but that's the last link that I'm going to post here, the, the five-day life training. So make sure, book a call, get the wireframe. When you book a call, I'll send you the template. And then once you do that then you can go and join the group which is starting on august 3rd that's yeah, it you guys definitely want to show up i i well, one thing just going back to the training for today i really you i have to implore you guys i have to let you guys know this like when you model something that works you're gonna get similar or really close to the exact same types of results and one of the things that i you know rafael and i have talked about this stuff a lot over the years and one of the things that I've really kind of honed in on is conversion optimization, right? CRO, conversion rate optimization. I have to tell you that that particular template, that particular setup is probably one of the best you'll ever find because it has everything that you might need in order to convince what I was telling you earlier, someone who's saying yes, maybe not, or someone who's saying, nah, but let me check it out. Okay. And that's where the majority of your buyers are going to be. You're going to have people that are automatically going to be like, nope, I don't even care. You're going to have people that are, a few number of people that are going to say, yeah, totally. I'm in. I'm going to buy it. I don't even care how long it takes. I like this. I want it right now because this is super awesome. I'm a battery guy and I just want to have tons of really cool batteries like this. I know a guy like that for flashlights, dude, who buy flashlights till, till the moon is no longer existing or the sun is dead. Like he'll buy flashlights from here until eternity if he could. Right. But that being said, the majority of your people are going to be in, the, in that little center area where it's going to be yes maybe i want this or no but let me check it out and see if it might work for me they're going to be there 70 percent of your audience is going to be in that particular set uh, of uh, in that particular part of the bell curve and you have to focus on convincing them a regular template from for even a debut or theme or whatever none of them are going to offer you like the ability to put a really full nicely laid out page with a great wireframe that's going to convert more people none of them and so this is probably, this is why you, if you showed up late, this is why you're here. Make sure and why, I don't even know if this is recorded so you can look at it later, Raphael, but that's why you need to go look for those links in the comment that Raphael put out. One of them is the wireframe. And then the other one is how to book a call. So you can, even if you decide, oh, this isn't for me, you still get that entire JSON code file. So you can copy, yeah. 
paste it and have an amazing page for what product you might already have existing. Okay, guys. And then ultimately, if you want to join us, we'll have a five day training live event that's coming up here at the end of August. And we're excited for that. Hopefully you guys will be able to show up. Definitely. And that particular template, the actual JSON one that I'm going to send the people that finish the application, you can use it in any theme, any Shopify theme. You can apply it to absolutely everything. So we got a lot of people commenting here. Is this template already implemented in some custom theme? No, you can implement it into any theme. Uh, do I have to be 18 plus for you to mentor? No, we actually have. I was going to say some what a perfect opportunity, right? <laughs> to work with parents. We have. We have one particular student, Ron, who scaled up to about 30 grand a month, and he was 16, 17 at the time. So what you do need to be careful is a lot of payment processors. If you're not over 18, they'll be very risky with your account, and you need to get your parents to actually get a payment processor for you. That was the case of Ron. He scaled up to 30K. His ad account or his uh, payment processor got banned because he needed to get his parents to actually show that you know he wasn't doing something we are by himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, basically. How do you differentiate a product from others who are selling the same product? So obviously the landing page design, your images are extremely important. You want to have as high quality image and video. I see some people, especially in the space, when I go in a Facebook group and I check what people are doing and they're just copying a video creative and ad, they're copying the videos that people use, they're copying the images that people use, they're taking images from AliExpress, Custom images, new images, get a Photoshop designer. We have two Photoshop's full-time designer in our team that get custom pages, sorry, custom images. They build custom banners, custom particular GIFs, three-second videos, because you need that. It's not as easy as, oh, I'm going to copy something that works. Yes, use the template, use the layout, use the wireframe that I told you, but you need to be different than everybody else with your creatives as well. Uh, what is the difference between arbitrage and drop shipping on the e-commerce platform? I think arbitrage is you buy it somewhere from a shop in retail and then you just sell it on eBay or something. Drop shipping is you buy it from a wholesale manufacturer. That's, that's I think, is the difference. Pretty much it, yep. Uh, what is the best way to ship at the beginning? So the best way to ship, if you're just starting out, let's say this is your first 5, 10, 20 sales, you want to get one of these companies that we talk about a lot. CJ Dropshipping, Fulfill Panda, um, Source Inbox, eProlo. Use one of those companies. They're not going to give you the best service in the world. Don't expect first-class service with 24-7 support because you just have five or 10 orders. Yeah. Once you start hitting 20 orders a day, 50 orders a day, 100 orders a day, I have one of my students from India now doing about 80 orders a day to 100 orders a day. He has a private supplier, and he only deals with that private supplier, and that private supplier handles all of his orders. And that's the goal to get to a private supplier that is actually going to scale with you and help you maintain your processing and your fulfillment extremely efficient, not, not breaking in, in different parts. Um, I want work more on branding and I really want to put my logo in the product. Definitely, man. That's what's going to take you from 10 K to a hundred K a month. It's just, Packaging, improving the system, improving the product. Um, do we need to? Do we need to have a whole team to start because my budget is low? No, you don't need a whole team to start. That's not. That's not. Um, I'm sorry if I'm I'm coming off that way. I have a whole team, but I built it after I already made a lot of money in profit. I only hired my first employee when I was making twenty five k a month. My second employee when I was making like 40K a month and then slowly started hiring more and more. So it's not like you're going to start and hire a bunch of people. We just offer that team in the mentorship. If you want a team built for you, trained for you, done for you, that's in the mentorship for just one cost. But I don't recommend you to like go and hire a team and build a team when you just started. You don't even know if you're going to be profitable. Yeah. So you need to hire when you are already profitable. Yeah. We have another. What is it? Another yeah. question about prolonging a trial, mm. but I'm not sure about that. Um, I wanted to. I don't think it's possible. How about the the requirements if I'm from another country, like legal and tax requirements if I'm from another country? 
I want to start dropshipping in the U.S., but what are the legal and tax requirements? So that would be, there's not really any legal requirements unless you're doing a lot of, for example, warehousing in the U.S., then it becomes a problem. If you don't plan on living in the U.S. or if you don't plan on actually living in the U.S. in the future, yeah. having a partnership in the U.S., anything like that, you just need to worry about your home country. Now, if you are going to have a warehouse, specifically own a warehouse, that's where it gets really tricky. And I also help people lower their taxes. I actually lowered my taxes from a bunch to 0%. And I like talking about taxes a lot, even though it's a boring topic for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. What really gets people into trouble is owning things. So you own a warehouse in the United States. You own a factory. That's what will get you into trouble with taxes. But as long as you don't own anything and you're just using partners in the U.S., you, you should be good to go. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think if you're just getting started too, just make sales. Guys, don't worry too much about like, oh, I'm exactly. going to pay for like, just, just go out there and make some sales of your own. And once you're like, oh, wow, like this product actually is hitting, it, try to sell it and then start thinking about what would I need to do to start an entity correctly? Do I need want to do it in the US? Okay, well, what do I do it in the US? If I have to do it in India, if I have to do it wherever I'm from, what do I need to do to get an entity going? so that I can reduce my tax burden. So the first, your first thing should always be like, how do I get the sale, right? How am I getting sales? How can I increase sales? Once you increase sales enough that you're like, shoot, I got a lot of money going coming in right now. I need to figure out what to do. Then all of a sudden you, you got to start solving the problem of how do I keep more for myself and less for the government, right? You're having to think about like, what am I going to do there? And that's when you start talking to a lawyer. That's when you start thinking about an entity. That's when you start moving forward with trying to figure out how to keep more taxes in your pocket and not in theirs. Exactly. Pretty much when it starts to become a problem and when it starts to become annoying, that's when you do it. Yeah. Um, Ad spy is still the best way to find winners. Not really. I don't really like Ad spy the tool itself. I think it's a little bit too expensive. You can use other tools like me now. I talk about it a lot. You can use Niche Scraper. I also like it. So not really. Thank I'm from, for, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say someone's being really, someone was re being really patient and asking just periodically. Thank you for not spamming the comment, by the way. But he said, what is the, he or she said, what is the best way to ship in the beginning and the capital is low? I covered that one, the using the companies that we talk about and then getting a private agent later on. Look so, at my YouTube channel. If, if you click on my YouTube channel, just type in suppliers, you'll find like five videos that explain how to do it. So don't worry. And I mean, when you get granular to it, like if you're just getting started and you're just like, what suppliers and like these companies, I don't even know what they do. Like guys, sometimes you can, I, I, we don't really like recommend this, but when I first started, dude, I was messing with like Oberlo and stuff like that, where it was drop shipping. Yeah. I don't have to, all I have to do is pay for the product and someone ships it, right? And that's to some extent, that's great. But when you start getting what happens there is you run into a, a, another problem, which is people want their stuff quick. People want their stuff to be there at least within a week or two, right? Like they any longer and they're going to be like, oh, I want my money back. So what you need to start figuring out, it's again, it's funny. You, you start to solve the problem when it becomes annoying. I love that you said that, Raphael. So it's like, just go out there, try to see if you can find a supplier, try to see if you can just test the products to see if they work. Get them shipped out. If people aren't are, aren't complaining for the length of time, great. You don't have to solve a problem. But if they start complaining about how long it's taking, when is it coming, where's my tracking number, this or that or whatever, then you have to start thinking about like, okay, how can I go look at those supplier companies? How can I go with the private agent, et cetera? Guys, build your company as you go. If you want to start thinking about like beforehand how to solve those issues, then you start thinking about the higher level stuff. Like who is my supplier? Who are they shipping through? How can I get that going? How can I get it faster? Blah, 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 blah. You have to start answering those questions when it starts to get really annoying. Exactly. Is there a guideline on how much to test per product? I usually tell my students, spend up to a hundred US dollars. And once you get to the hundred dollar amount spend on testing a product, you reevaluate. Yeah. Am I doing the right thing with my ad creatives? Am I doing the right thing with my audiences? Am I doing the right thing with my product page? Once you hit the hundred mark, is there any good provider? other than Stripe. Uh, well, if you're from a country where you cannot get Stripe or PayPal, you can start an LLC, a US company in the US. And then from that company, you can get a Stripe account and you don't need to pay taxes in the US, which is great. Yeah. So, which, you might have to do that through like Wyoming or, or Delaware. Uh, Delaware. Well, no, Wyoming is better. Yeah. 
Wyoming is the, the, the fees are better, but you could do it in Delaware, Wyoming. Those are the states in the United States that you can start an entity like an LLC. Uh, just go about like you could go online and you can find a lot of places that will help you start a company in, in those in those uh, states um, and then take it from there and then start a Stripe account. And that way you can start taking money through Stripe or PayPal, et cetera. Exactly. Uh, someone then, commented. Then, I was going to say, and then because you're a foreigner and please, this is, don't take this as legal advice or taxes wise, go talk to your tax <laughs> professional or a lawyer, but because you're a foreigner with a, with an entity in the United States and making money in the United States, technically you only get taxed by your, your country when money goes out because it's going exactly. to you. So whatever your tax corporate taxes, whatever your profit taxation is system there and wherever you live is what you're going to be paying in taxes. So just look more into that if you really want to get there. But if it's not even, if you're not there yet, don't worry about it. Like just go and get sales guys. Just get the sales. Uh, do you prefer a, an LLC as a real business? Yeah. LLC is the best type of company to start. Um, you want to be taxed as I think do you want to be, since you might be the sole owner of that LLC, you'll be taxed as what's called as an S corporation. Um, you cannot have an S corporation if you are not a U.S. citizen. So uh, right, right, right. So it needs to be a C corp or just a regular. Well, a okay, it has to be C, right? Anyways, that's those are details. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like get get your accountant to ask this stuff because it's very complex depending yeah. on where you're from. I would need to talk to you one on one. Uh, yeah. Felix, now is the right time to create an LLC. You're making enough money, specifically if you're making enough profit. Definitely now. Uh, I really like your videos. You teach me a lot. Awesome. How long is sourcing box going to take? Usually about 15 days is the average time that it takes to get there. And for the people that are just joining us, we actually are giving you a template that you can use from a hundred K per month store. You can apply that template onto your store. All you have to do is book a call with my team and I'll share how the call goes with this link right here. Book a call with Raphael's team. We'll show you the exact steps to build a seven-figure store. You pick the time that works for you. You continue. You answer a couple of questions, schedule meeting, and then you can talk to my team about how we can help you and how our team can help you build your Shopify store, can scale you up as fast as possible. And with that, we'll give you a template for your particular product page that you can use at any time. We're going to yeah, drop the link as, as one last time. Submit. As soon as you submit, we got your email. You're going to get that template, guys. An LLC is a company in the U.S., limited liability company, and usually the best time to start it is when you're already making a nice profit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how about taxes if you are partnering Partnering with who? And what exactly? Like, I, I need more details to, to know. Partnering in the U.S. Ah, then, okay. If you're not a U.S. citizen and you don't live in the United States and you don't plan on living in the United States, Unless you own something in the U.S., you don't really need to pay tax in the U.S. Because yeah. you're a, what they call a non-resident alien. So you don't really need to pay taxes. Like, you don't really need to worry about the IRS unless you are connected to the U.S. Then you really need to worry about them. Yeah. So they don't really care about foreigners that much. All right. We're going to stay for two more minutes. Just leave us a last round of questions. We still got 50 people here. Hit that like button down below if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe. Yeah. So the YouTube lords here send more people to this training. We're very happy to talk to you live here. If you want to join the five-day training, I sent the link before. Happy to join there. So Vazu Devan, I would I would literally start looking at Raphael's videos because yeah. if you failed at drop shipping in the US, then something wasn't right. Something went wrong, whether it was in the creation of the product store, whether it was the Facebook ad process, he has videos on all of those things. And you can start like, because something doesn't work, guys, doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means that that the particular way that you did that thing doesn't work. So you just keep going at it, right? Because if you give up, then you really never cared about that product. You never really cared about that thing enough. So it all starts from the very beginning, right? We talked about today, selecting something that you spend time with, it's close to you, you put your money into it, <clears throat> a hobby, whatever that is, and start looking to see if something is profitable. Because then when you try to sell it, you're like, okay, well, I just need to fix the way I'm selling it. Or maybe my angle isn't right. 
or maybe I need to start focusing on like using a template that works versus one that doesn't, right? It doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just hasn't worked for you yet. And I want you to think about that in business. It's not about like just trying something and seeing if it sticks. It's knowing that there's money there because, because you have to have the certain, like the certainty and conviction that there is money there. You just have to go carve out, literally carve out your own piece of that pie. That's what carving out is. It's not just like, oh, I need to carve out with a knife and it's simple. It's literally, it's going to take a couple of efforts. It's going to, if you've never done it before, you have to do it right. You have to learn how to do it until you get really good at it. Always keep going. Do not stop going. Take imperfect action and start agilely, like fixing things as you go. This is why I love the, the whole phrase about like, don't fix it until it's annoying. Don't do anything <laughs> until it gets annoying. Guys, that's what the business is all about. You're going to get run into a lot of annoying circumstances or you got to push over. You got to keep moving forward, right? Awesome. Somebody says, what is the success ratio of the students who are mentoring you? Well, nine out of 10 of our students who mentor with me and work with me launch their store and get their first sale in the first seven days. And many of those students get to their first 5K to 10K in their first 90 days. And like that student Felix says, he reached 9K per month in about four to six months working with me. So 9K, almost 10 grand a month in sales. So you can definitely do it as well. Again, if you want to mentor with me, book a call with that link that we put before. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I was really excited and I am really excited to share with you all the strategies here. We will be doing more lives. We will be doing a five-day live training at the end of the month. I'm really happy to see everybody there. Make sure to hit that like button down below. And I love you. Thank you for your support. We'll see you on the next one. And I hope you enjoyed. And make sure to book a call for the template. Talk to you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.